Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this content. Seeking some fun facts about Ireland? If you're looking for information on one of the friendliest countries on earth, then look no further. Rolling green hills, castles, whiskey, rain, Guinness beer, and rugged coastline draws millions of visitors each year. The country's small size and accessibility make it an amazing destination. Before you head off to Ireland, we're here to help you brush up on some interesting facts about Ireland. 1. The longest place name in Ireland is Muckinagadur de Halia. This is one of those Irish fun facts kids will love. In Irish Gaelic, this roughly translates as piggery between two expanses of briny water. Though it doesn't come close to the longest Welsh place name, Google it, we still think it's a long enough, and confusing enough, word. To be exact, this one-word place name is 22 letters of goodness describing a boggy peninsula where no one lives. 2. Halloween is Irish. What? Nope, this is one of those cool facts about Ireland that is true. Halloween may have Christian ties. With all Hallowtide beginning a three-day veneration of the dearly departed, but Halloween traditions as we know them begin with the Celtic festival of Samhain. In Old Irish, this means summer's end. It features bonfires, terrifying masks, even more terrifying turnip lanterns, and amateur dress-ups. See more festivals in Ireland here. 3. St. Patrick wasn't Irish. Not at all. He was a regular Romano-British person kidnapped and sold into slavery by Irish raiders at age 16. At some point, he escaped and returned as a missionary to convert the Celtic polytheists of Ireland. Maybe. His life story is shrouded in mystery, but one thing's for sure, he wasn't Irish. 4. More IRISH people live outside of Ireland than in Ireland. This is one of my favorite crazy fun facts about Ireland that is hard to believe. From around 1700, between 9 and 10 million Irish-born people emigrated. That's way more than Ireland's highest population of 8.4 million during the 1840s. Today, around 80 million people worldwide claim Irish descent, including more than 36 million Americans. There's even a government position dedicated to this, Minister of State for the Diaspora and International Development. 5. Know your Irish pub etiquette. Okay. This isn't one of those die-hard facts about Ireland, but more of a fun bar one. If someone buys you a drink, you buy them a drink back. If you're in a group, drinks will most likely be purchased in a round. One person buys everyone's drinks. So when it comes to your turn, do your duty. The round is sacred, sometimes considered Dublin pub and Galway pub etiquette. 6. Students shouldn't stand under the bell at Trinity College. Called the Campanile, this little architectural feature on the grounds of Trinity College is a lovely sight. But if you're a student of Trinity College, you'll be staying away, superstition states that if you pass under the bell before you graduate, you will fail. You shouldn't even stand near it. Another legend states that the bell rings automatically if a virgin stands underneath it. 7. The shamrock isn't a symbol of Ireland. This is probably one of those facts about Ireland you didn't know. The anglicized form of seamrog, which simply means young clover, the shamrock isn't any more a national symbol of the Republic of Ireland than Guinness is. It's linked to St. Patrick, who's often depicted preaching while holding a shamrock. The real symbol? A harp, a Gaelic harp, to be precise. 8. Ireland is named after a goddess. In Old Irish, she was known as Ariu. In modern Gaelic, it's Era. That's exactly the same name as Ireland is known in the mother tongue. Ariu, with her sisters Bamba and Fadla, was part of a triumvirate of goddesses that looked out for the general well-being of the ancient island nation. Even Bamba and Fadla are sometimes used as poetic names for Ireland. 9. Ireland has won the Eurovision Song Contest more than any other European country. Eurovision lovers, is this one of those Ireland facts you knew? If you don't know what that is, 
Eurovision is a song and dance extravaganza where all the nations of Europe try to outcheese each other with pop songs. Ireland has won a record-breaking seven times. 7. It's also the only country to win it three times in a row. It seems Ireland knows a thing or two about pop ballads. 10. You can see the Northern Lights in Ireland. If you don't feel like spending your inheritance on a trip to far-flung Finland or pricey Iceland or Norway. Well, a little-known fact about Ireland is that you can see the Northern Lights from this Atlantic island. 11. Ireland was neutral during World War II. Officially, anyway. They did provide some clandestine help, a detailed weather report from County Mayo, for example, gave the green light for the D-Day landings. Despite being neutral, Ireland was also the victim of a few bombings, because Allies and Axis bombers were missing their targets. It remains neutral and isn't even a part of NATO. 12. Guinness isn't the only drink available. Guinness is famous, that's obvious. But on a trip to Ireland, you can try more drinks than just that. There's Murphy's, another stout, like Guinness, established in 1856. There's whiskey in the form of Jameson, 1780, and Bushmills, the oldest Irish whiskey, in production since 1608. There's Bulmer's Irish Cider, first made in 1935. The list could go on. 13. But the land the company owns is on a 9,000-year lease. Crazy, we know, but it's true. In 1759, the founder, Arthur Guinness, signed a contract for the land on which the Guinness Brewery stands, St. James Gate Brewery. It was approved for 9,000 years. That's pretty confident. It seems like so far, at least, it stood the test of time. Let's see how the next 8,740 years go. 14. Ireland has its own Olympics. One of the best sports facts about Ireland now. Yes, it has its own Olympics, claimed to predate the actual Olympics. Called the Tail Team Games, this dates back to at least 1600 BC and is a famous edition of Funeral Games, athletic competitions held in honor of a recently deceased person. 15. Yes, Guinness World Records is related to the Guinness. This is another one of those fun facts about Ireland. This began thanks to the awesomely named managing director of Guinness at the time, Sir Hugh Beaver. He went out shooting with some buddies, missed a shot, and got into an argument about what was the fastest game bird in Europe. Classic. Later that evening, they tried to confirm the answer in reference books, but realized it was impossible. Realizing people had these kinds of debates in pubs nightly across Ireland. He decided that the idea of a record book would settle these debates. So the original Google was born in 1955. 16. Ireland currently has a record-breaking prime minister. Leo Varadkar, born in 1979, became Ireland's prime minister in 2017. Not only is he the youngest prime minister the country has ever ushered into power, but he is also the first of Indian heritage. What a cool Irish fact! To add more to the list of firsts, Leo Varadkar is Ireland's first openly gay party leader and prime minister. How's that for fun facts about Ireland? 17. There are around 3,000 castles in Ireland. Castles and the ruins thereof are located all over Ireland. Centuries-old fortifications, restored castles, have fallen down towers. You name it, Ireland's got it. To have that many in such a small area are pretty mad, though. 18. The O in Irish names means descendant of. A useful, name-based fact about Ireland now. You've probably seen a zillion surnames that begin with O. O'Brien. O'Malley. O'Murphy. The list goes on and on. The O, or more properly, O, means descendant of. If you were wondering, Mac, means son of. Fitz is of Norman origin and derives from Latin filius, son. 19. There are no snakes in Ireland. When planning a trip to Ireland, it may be awesome to know there are no snakes. The legend and well-known fact about Ireland and is that St. Patrick drove all the snakes away. 
but in fact, there were never any snakes, to begin with. It's more to do with the Ice Age than anything else. You may find a snake in a zoo, however. 20. Newgrange is older than Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids at Giza. Newgrange, a prehistoric monument in County Meath, is an amazing passage tomb that dates back to the Neolithic period. We're talking 3200 BC. That's older than Stonehenge, which dates back to around 3000 BC. The Giza pyramids were built in 2600 BC. It's not just old, but impressive, a big circular dome, 76 m in diameter, complete with a stonewalled burial chamber. Though sealed for actual millennia, it has featured in various Irish folklore and mythology since construction. Pretty cool Irish fact. A. 21. Not everyone in Ireland has red hair. You'd be surprised, but seriously, this world-shifting fact about Ireland is that, yes, not everyone has red or ginger hair. Only about 9% of the population are redheads. It's just a colossal stereotype that everyone is ginger in Ireland. 22. It's one of the world's biggest movie stars. Yes, the entire country is what I'm referring to in this fun fact about Ireland. The Cliffs of Maher have featured in Harry Potter. The beach of Curraclough Strand was the D-Day landing scene in Saving Private Ryan. Scenes from the 1969 Italian job were shot at Kilmanham Jail, Dublin. The island of Skellig Michael and its ancient monastic settlement was famously in Star Wars, The Force Awakens. If you're prepared to do some hiking in Ireland, you can see a bunch more. 23. The place with the most pubs per person is County Mayo. Though you may instantly be thinking of Dublin as the place with the highest pub-to-person ratio, it's County Mayo. Yes, Dublin's 722 pubs mean one pub for every 1,649 people in the capital, but with 373 pubs in all. Mayo has one pub for every 323 people. Dublin doesn't even have the most pubs, County Cork has nearly 1,955. 24. One of Ireland's most charming towns is abandoned. The glacial valley of Glendalough is one of the most beautiful places in Ireland. There are two mirror-like lakes and nature in abundance. Hidden here is an old monastic settlement, and no one lives there. It's not really a town, to be fair, but St. Kevin founded this collection of buildings where monks used to live in the 6th century. It's not hard to see how this spot became a site of religious contemplation. To get there, renting a car in Ireland and exploring these hidden gems is best. 25. Irish Gaelic is the first official language of the Republic of Ireland. Gaelic is a compulsory subject in schools. Street signs are in English and Gaelic. There are whole areas, called Gaeltacht, of the Republic of Ireland where people's actual first language is Gaelic, notably in coastal areas of County Mayo and County Cork. Only around 1.7% of the population speaks it daily, however. 26. And Irish words are amazing. Not necessarily one of the best facts about Ireland, but we can't help ourselves. Not necessarily Gaelic, but words used by many Irish people daily are pretty awesome, so we thought you should get to know a few. There's crack, pronounced crack, as in what's the crack? What's going on, and good crack, good fun. Grand is what they say instead of good and okay, example, I'm grand. There's fair play, which is like saying well done. Egypt is a good one, i.e., idiot. There are hundreds more. 27. But more people speak Polish than Gaelic in Ireland. This is one of the most interesting facts about Ireland. Being a country in the European Union, Ireland allows free movement of people, and many people from elsewhere in the EU live in Ireland. While just over 82,600 people speak Gaelic outside of school, 119,526 speak Polish at home, making Gaelic the third most spoken language. 56,430 speak French at home. 28. Comedy is a big deal. Dark, dry comedy is the thing in Ireland. TV shows, 
from the 90s favorite Father Ted to 2016's Dairy Girls, put characters in compromising situations where no one ever ends up better off than they were before. It's genius, and you need to experience it. 29. There's a ton of marine life just off the coast of Ireland. Did you know that you can go whale watching from County Cork? That you could spot basking sharks? Seals? Puffins? Sea turtles? It's not all emerald all rolling valleys and castles, it's also those rugged offshore islands and the host of sea life that lives around them. 30. It's not Southern Ireland. It's Ireland. The Republic of Ireland. After a long history of being entwined with, but probably more correctly, under, British rule, Ireland fought a guerrilla war against its overlords and gained independence in 1922. The Northeastern Portion Historically populated with Ulster planters, colonists of English and Scottish origin, decided to opt out, supporting the Union and remaining part of the UK. The rest is history. Confusing, messy history. Thank you for watching. See you in next one. Take care sayonara.